He's going to lay the bumper to Jimmy Johnson. For the first time in its 72-year history, NASCAR saw something new at the Martinsville Speedway. A stock car bearing the hashtag Black Lives Matter, driven by number 43, Bubba Wallace. It's true, black lives do matter. It's not that we're saying no other lives matter. We were trying to say that black lives matter too. Wallace, the Cup Series' only full-time black driver, igniting a conversation and then a sea change. So it starts with Confederate flags. Get them out of here. They have no place for them. The Confederate flag, a fixture in NASCAR Southern culture for decades, now no longer permitted a place in the sport. NASCAR announcing the flag runs contrary to our commitment to providing a welcoming and inclusive environment for all fans and is now prohibited from all NASCAR events and properties effective immediately. On a racetrack where drivers chase a checkered flag, NASCAR's dealt with a checkered past. Less than two months ago, driver Kyle Larson was fired by his racing team for using a racial slur. That one hit home because it was inside of our sport. And that one didn't directly target me, but indirectly pulled me in. And I'm, I'm right there. Wallace crediting that episode and the killing of Ahmaud Arbery with springing him into action. George Floyd, Breonna Taylor, Ahmaud Arbery, and countless others in the black community are heartbreaking. Heartbreaking. Are heartbreaking and can no longer be ignored. Now joined by some of driving's most recognizable names, from Dale Earnhardt Jr. to Jimmy Johnson, exerting their energy for change. I've been in this sport for a long time, and I believe this sport is full of really, really good people. I don't know a driver out there that doesn't want to treat people the way they want to be treated. Our sport must do better. Our country must do better. NASCAR President Steve Phelps offering these words and 30 seconds of silence Sunday. And now, on the hood of Wallace's repainted car, this image with the words compassion, love, and understanding below it. A message he hopes will resonate far beneath the surface. All right, Sam, well, it's, it's really historic what's going on there at NASCAR, but the question also is, has there been any backlash within NASCAR to this? Yeah, Hoda, speaking with former driver Jeff Burton, he says the vast, vast majority of drivers want to listen and they want people to feel comfortable. There has been one part-time truck series driver, Ray Cicerelli, who posted on Facebook last night that because of the change in policy for the flag and permission to kneel during the national anthem, he is done at the end of the season. But that, Hoda, appears to be the exception, not the rule. 